find it's just a flat ground spot with no people. It's very hard. I've been to three places now and all of them had like 30 people except for this place. This place just has bad ground. But we're just gonna have to deal with it. But also, enough about my problems. I'm pretty sure you clicked on this video because you want to know why your kickflips suck. I have three reasons why my kickflips sucked in the past and hopefully they're one of the reasons your kickflips suck because I have the answer to them. So let's get right down into it. Reason number one why your kickflips suck is probably because if you're leaning too far in one direction, like forward, backwards or something, you're going to land. You'll probably land it, but you'll land heels or toes more. Like, you'll land like this or like this, or you'll not land on the board at all and it'll just completely fly behind you, in front of you, or anywhere. And one way to fix this is not to lean anywhere. Or, if you if you lean too far forward, try leaning a little bit further back than usual. Try, so like if you're doing kick flips and it's flipping this way, and then it's going behind you, you might want to focus on jumping straight up and leaning back a little bit. Like I find it easier to lean back this way a little bit, and then lean this way too, so it's a little bit on this side of the board. I'll show some kick flips of what I mean. And then make sure you stay over the skateboard, not leaning too far, because you're probably subconsciously leaning forward because you don't want to land primo and die. And you don't know that you're leaning forward, but you really are. So try to lean back right here, backwards both ways a little bit, and when you pop it, lean back, and then lean forward once, you once you're once you starting to land, lean forward a little bit more, so that way you don't slip out. Or you could just focus on jumping straight up, but if that's not working, try leaning back a little bit because you're probably not thinking about it, but you are still leaning forward a little bit. So, try that. Reason number two why your kick flips suck is probably because you're not flicking in the right spot, or not flicking correctly. So what I find is when you're flicking, and you flick it anywhere but the pocket, it's pretty random whether you're going to land on it or not. But if you flick out and then hit this pocket right here and hit it, it does pretty much a perfect kick flip every try, almost. It really helps with consistency on your kick flips if you aim for the pocket right here. Like hit it and go bam. Bam. Hit it right there. It's the pocket. Right there. Or right there if it's, it's uh, regular. But anyway, if you're flicking down, if you're, or if you're flicking like down, uh, mobbing it, that's also probably not good. So you want to flick out and then hit that pocket, and then you should be good. So that's proof. That's that's the second problem. The second reason your kick flips probably suck. Reason number three why your kick flips suck is probably your timing. You're probably not popping it and flicking it at the right time. So what I like to what I like to do is as soon as you hit as soon as you start popping and flicking, it's like a really short time in between both of them. But the pop is definitely before the flick. You don't want to do it at the same time. You really want to do it right after. So it's it's a really short time after, but it is after. So you really want to focus on popping it and then flicking it. And then you should be good. So I hope these tips helps you and just so you guys know this isn't like how to kickflip these are just some things that my kickflips were really bad at and I couldn't do as good and these are just some things to help you practice and get your kickflips better to look good or do them off of stuff because if you're skating off of a gap and you're trying to kickflip it a lot of times you're going to be leaning too far forward and you're not going to be able to do it but if you focus on just leaning back a little bit more and staying over the board that could be your only problem, and you could probably land it very next try. And uh, same goes for any of the other problems. So I hope you guys take these into consideration and look at your own kick flips and figure out if you have any of these problems. If these weren't any of your problems and you do have a problem that wasn't one of these, um, maybe put a comment down below and maybe I could help you figure it out. But these are just three problems that I had when my kick flips weren't looking very good and I figured them out and. I still have problems 
So I still have to go back to these and figure them out for myself and relearn where to flick and stuff because my technique's always changing. So I will see you guys later. Comment down below the things that I've been saying to comment down below, and I will see you guys later. And press the like button. And also share the video with your friends that are also trying to learn how to kickflip or trying to get kickflips better.